What are you doing? Nothing. I'm giving. You showing the products? Mm hmm Okay. Now I'm going to explain. This one. I mean, <laughs> and welcome back to my channel and today I'm super duper excited because I'm doing a review for natural hair care products and if you have been following my channel for a minute you know that that's not really something that I do I do it here and there I don't really think I'm that great at it but I do like to do it nonetheless so um, I am a co-host of a podcast called Curls Culture Couture and I co-host this podcast with Naturally Glam here on YouTube. We talk about things pop culture, um, things about the hair, beauty, and style industry and yeah we just have a lot of fun. really excited when I had the chance to review a new product that just hit the shelves in Target and that is The Do. Isn't this packaging cute? Like, I can't get over this packaging. It is so freaking cute. It was created by stylist Maya Smith, and Curls Culture Couture has the pleasure of interviewing her for our podcast. And they were so dope and gracious enough to bless us with the full line of products. And I was the one chosen to go ahead and try these products out. So today I'm going to be sharing with you, I'm gonna be using the shampoo, the conditioner, and I'm also going to be using the um, styling mousse. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to try these products. I cannot wait to let you guys know what I think. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. the whole hair wash that they will make up on and I just came home from work and wanted to get this review out for you guys so yeah that'll never happen again so if you see a little mascara running you know charge it to the process you know what I'm saying we're gonna get all of this together when we're done so what I can say about the shampoo is that it lathers very well and that's something that I could appreciate because some people don't have to have the lather but for me I like when my shampoo lathers up a little bit and a little bit goes a long way I know at least for me and my length of hair I don't need a lot of product and that I did not like about it and it's not anything new because I experienced this with uh, mostly all the shampoos that I use unless they have a conditioning component in them that it kind of feels like my hair is stripped a little bit um and that's nothing that that's out of the ordinary or anything like that it's just that um i didn't experience like really soft hair after shampooing so now i'm going to go ahead and apply the fresh rinse moisturizing conditioner so i'm going to apply pr pretty much about the same amount of product that i did for the shampoo and the product itself is pretty thick in consistency and it smells the same hat to me has almost like a vanilla bean type of fragrance and it's not overpowering I think I could definitely appreciate that so just gonna work this in hmm. and it's it feels pretty smooth you know and I think I'm not even gonna get a comb because I don't even know where <laughs> I don't even know where one is so I think I'm going to actually use my hands to work this product through. And I'm gonna get some more product to put it in the back. It actually, on application, it feels pretty soft. Like my hair feels pretty soft when I'm applying it. So I'm just gonna work this all through my hair. And it doesn't say how long to let it sit up there, but I think I'm gonna let it sit for probably about three to five minutes, probably three minutes, something like that. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get to styling. 
So I'm going to do the coils on my hair and I've washed out the conditioner and what I could say for the I wouldn't even say for the most part. I would say I got my hair pretty clean. I'm not the best. And I could wash my hair like a million times. And sometimes because my scalp gets so dry that it could still kind of, you know, have some flakiness. And that's that's me. It's definitely not a product. That's me. I know that about my hair. So, with that being said, I do wish that in this line there was some type of like leave-in conditioner, some type of moisturizer after you finish washing your hair. So that would have been pretty good. So um, I think I'm not going to use the Bonita Afro Balm. I don't think I'm going to use this product, but I am going to use the Mousse Def. <laughs> Again, this packaging got my heart. So the Mousse Def Texture Foam. And this is says what it do is defines shines and conditions in one step fights frizz wash and go wash and goes twist outs rod sets pixies blowouts what's good silk protein humidity blocking polymers fight frizz and the direction is curly dues apply a liberal amount to wet hair style is desired Straight do's apply one to two pumps to wet hair before blow dry. So because we're going to do wet, it says I can apply, apply liberally. You know, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Hopefully, I'm supposed to and it won't explode on me. So, ha, let's see. Mm, smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. So I'm going to apply, apply it all over my hair like it says. And hopefully, hopefully I'm not using too much. Because I could be extra with the product. Hopefully I am not using too much of this product. Yikes. It said use liberally. Alright. And boom. <laughs> So what I'm going to start to do is what I would normally do when I do my coils styles is I go ahead and start to coil my hair. Now what I can tell you right off the bat with this product is it doesn't feel like it's going to have enough hold. It doesn't feel like it's going to have enough hold for my coils. I don't know. I will have to see once I am done. But um, yeah, usually... I don't really have any rhyme or reason with my coils. I just start sectioning off pieces of hair and I begin to coil. So that's what I'm going to do here. This product actually smells really, really good. It smells really good. can say when I normally do my coils they do not stand like straight out and I don't know if you guys can see this I'm gonna come in a little closer so I don't know if you guys can see this which I'm hoping that you can that they're kind of they're standing up which typically I do not get that with my coils they don't stand up so I don't know I don't know but let's not judge a book by its cover because once I'm done styling they could have shrunken and they may just go ahead and lay down so I don't really know
shouts to Nietzsche B for getting me through this hair. <laughs> my arms are burning. Um, what I'm noticing that I'm having to do as I go on each section, and if you can see there is a lot of product on this section, I've noticed that it's been helping me coil by kind of saturating, like literally saturating my hair um, in the product. So I am liking the way that they're coming out so far. I can definitely tell you I'm going to need to take a blow dryer to it because um, it's just a little bit more <clears throat> wet than when I do my coils um, normally. So, sure, this is how it turned out. And I hope, it, I'm going to turn around to the back, y'all don't judge me. Hopefully it came out good and it's not looking all crazy back there. But one thing I can say about this, um, this mousse def, it smells amazing. Like, I could just, like, when I move my hair, I could smell it. It smells really good. So I thought it was most fitting for me to get my colorful blow dryer so that I can go ahead and use my diffuser and go ahead and dry it because it does feel really wet. <laughs> So here is the finished product, um, as you saw in the beginning of the video. And let's just say this. I'm pleased. I am very pleased with these products. I did not, the only product that I did not use was the Bonita Afro Balm. This was the only product that I did not use because I really wasn't sure after seeing exactly what it did. I wasn't sure if it was going to benefit the style that I wanted to do. Now, the thing that I could say I love the most about this line is definitely the Mousse Def. This is a texture foam and it was it is amazing for doing my coils. Now, the only con that I have is that it doesn't have the hold that a gel would have, which couldn't, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing at the same time because I, my style can last longer if I have a gel. With this one, I feel like it's going to already start to get frizzy and you know the style is not going to last as long but luckily with this one it also comes with the light which is a weightless shine mist and i think when it comes to like day three i'm just going to spray this and start to separate these curls and i think i'm going to come up with a pretty well-defined like mini little afro um i use the shampoo and i use the conditioner and i loved how my hair felt after I used the conditioner. So I was very pleased as far as um, the outcome of the whole washing process. And I was actually looking at my scalp and I feel like it looks pretty clean. Um, I do have issue with like me just getting my ho my own hair clean. Just It's just a thing of me. It's not, it's not anything to do with the products. It's myself. But these products were like really amazing. And this in this mousse smells amazing like I could just I could whip my hair back and forth like willow and I just smell it so the shampoo and the conditioner they really have a light scent but it's not anything overpowering and the mist I sprayed a little bit um after I diffused my hair and it's very very lightweight like soup when it says weightless it means weightless and you can kind of put your hand in it and once it starts to absorb in your hair, it's not going to leave like that top um, layer of like sheen. So like when you put your hand on, you lay your head on the pillow or whatever, it's going to have a whole bunch of sheen. It doesn't do that. So that's something that I can appreciate about these products as well. So I'm so excited that I got a chance to review these products prior to us doing the interview with Maya. I don't know if this video, this review is going to be up before or after our podcast takes place, but at least I'm able to give you guys an honest review of these products. And we're actually going to get to talk to her and know something, get some behind the scenes. And she's going to let us know how she came to create these products and just let us know a little bit of a little bit more about this styling business and what it takes to create a product line such as this. And the amazing thing is that it is available right now in target can we get a moment of silence for that so that's already an amazing feat and on top of which her products look like nothing else in the store so the packaging alone will draw you trust me 
but at a price point between about 18 to 20 dollars um i would say that you know maybe it'll put a little dent in your pocket to get the whole entire product line but i would say one step at a time and definitely make sure to read the um you know read what the products do and see if it's something that's going to benefit your hair if you're more of a twist out girl then you might want to use the afro bomb if you're more of a wash and go girl then you might want to use the mousse it just depends this is the box that came in it's a freaking boom box it's a boom box and there is the logo on the back right there the do you also got a pair of earrings and it also came with a little sticker that says the do look I, I almost fell up my chair when I saw this it's like a demo tape but it's actually a um, flash drive with their press kit on it he came up with some of the most innovative marketing stuff like I'm impressed just by the marketing in and of itself so anyway uh, that's pretty much all I got to say I'm, I'm done ranting and raving about this um, product line but definitely make sure you guys stop at your local target and pick this product up and make sure you tune in to Curls Culture Couture the podcast we're available on Apple Music oh, Apple Music we're available on Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Google Play. So make sure that you guys go ahead over there. You can stop what you're doing right now. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell so you won't miss any of my videos. And until next time, stay blessed and fabulous always.